Okay, we're doing problem number 79 on page uh, 262 in the textbook, uh, Elderly Workforce. The percent of men 65 years and older in the workforce from 1970 to the year 2000 is approximated by the function. So we have a polynomial um, function approximating the um, percentage of men in the workforce um, that are older than 65 years. And this is a cubic polynomial. And zero, um, less than or equal to t, less than or equal to 30. And uh, 0 is 1970 all the way up to the year 2000. It says find the interval where P is decreasing and the interval where P is um, increasing. And to do that, we need to take the derivative. In a polynomial taking the derivative term by term, I'll multiply the 0 0.00093 by 3. Get 0 0.00279 and then drop the exponent by 1, t squared, and then minus 0 0.036t and a minus 0.51. And then setting that equal to 0 um, to find my critical points. to solve for t with that, it's a quadratic equation. So I have 0 0.036, notice the b there is um, negative um, 0 0.036. So negative negative b using the quadratic formula gives me 0 0.036 plus or minus the square root of the b value 0 0.036 and although that's negative, it's being squared, so the negative would go to positive. Minus 4 times A, which is 0 0.00279, times B, which is a negative 0.51. And then that whole thing divided by 2 times A. Make sure you divide the whole um, plus or minus 0 0.036 and, um, or I'm sorry, the 0 0.036 plus or minus the radical divided by that whole thing divided by 2 times 0 0.00279. I went ahead and did this and uh, I get actually t equal to a negative 8, sorry, negative 8.53 and then 21.43. Now since our um, domain is from 0 to 30, um, the negative 8.53 doesn't have a lot of significance for us other than the fact that it's going to make sure that we um, get a good test point for our derivative. Now 0 is um, going to be a good test point between our two critical points of negative 8.53 and 21.43. So my percentage function, putting in 0 as a test point, is going to give me um, a negative 0.51 and then putting in some larger value than 21.43 into the derivative and that is the derivative that I'm putting the values into will give me positives. So what does that say about my um, original percentage function? It says that it is uh, decreasing on the interval from negative uh, 8.53 and then increasing on the interval from 21 0.43 um, on. Now, uh, 
Step 0 represents the year 1970, and 21.43 represents the year 1991, and um, it's actually the point 43 would uh, be interpreted as maybe in the middle of the year of 1991. So what I could say here is that the percentage of men in the workforce that's over 65 years of age was decreasing from 1970 to 1991, and then in 1991 it started to increase and uh, continue to increase for as long as uh, uh, this model is um, designed for, and that's up to the year 2000. And uh, if the model's good beyond that, it would um, then continue to increase. So the number of men in the workforce began increasing, or men in the workforce older than 65 years began increasing in 1991, and uh, for all we know, has continued to increase.